in a way, uh, I love the film because you, you, you didn't melodramatize the situation. It's a happy movie about moving on into the next step. Would you comment on this topic, please, of uh, the lack of drama, melodramatization of, of uh, dementia and, and uh, the fact that we all have to say goodbye at a certain point? Yeah, I think the, the melodrama was what I was trying to avoid at all times making this film, really, partly because that's the kind of filmmaker that I, I maybe I, I am taste wise, but also because the film was just I was just trying to make as truthful a representation of um, the experiences of living with dementia that I had seen firsthand as I could. And often in those instances, you know, melodrama is kind of it happens, of course, but it happens rarely. I think that the drama in this kind of situation is constant. It does. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't peak like that so much. So it's that sort of constant low level drama, um, you know, grounded drama, grounded in the reality of the the characters and, and their situation. That was really the focus of the film. It didn't feel like it needed to go into that territory. Really, it sort of felt like it wanted to be a bit more restrained um, than than that. That was certainly what I was focusing on when I was writing it and, and directing it. Yeah. Uh, for me, in a way, when they go on the road trip, it's a way of uh, leaving the past behind and looking into the future as a symbolic way. Do you agree yeah. with that? And if you can comment, because you did it on Hinterland too, I think. The That's right, trip. yeah. Right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to make another road movie, but... <laughs> yeah, we love, uh, roads are symbolic for many people. I, yeah. The road is an open space. And, yeah, I think, you know, very basically, you know, if you've got an emotional journey and a literal journey, that's quite an interesting cinematic device, you know, and you're also getting these characters and you're taking them out of their comfort zone. So I think those things, you know, that sense of propulsion and movement and, and freedom, really importantly, you know, freedom is really interesting in a film about someone that is having less and less freedom and is cu coming to terms with their own mortality you know they're not this film doesn't happen in very deliberately doesn't happen in you know their their flat at home what you know it happens out in a beautiful landscape a a, a, a an awe-inspiring but quite dramatic and quite brutal landscape sometimes and i think if you've got a character within that that's thinking about their own mortality i think that's a really useful cinematic tool yeah hey listen uh, the uh the uh Award season is starting and there are rumors of BAFTA, Oscar, Golden Globes for the movie of some of the, of the actors. How do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, it's all a bit of a shock, really. I mean, I think it's, it's undeniable that for a film like this, a small film like this, awards become quite important in a way because you want as, as many people to see the film as possible because you think that the film is a, you know, is, is about important issues, you know, and I think you can't deny that. I hope, um, I can't speak for myself. I, I, I really hope Colin and Stanley and other people working on the film get the recognition they deserve because making a film like this is, is really tough on, on, this, on this budget and, you know, they all worked so hard, so.